You want to tell them the story of how I used to cook at home, how I used to throw down? How you used to throw down? Yeah, you know I used to throw down. I, I can't even say you made french fries. The time you tried to put some some french fries in the grease that took off running, it made me mad. <laughs> morning and welcome back to my channel my name is Shakela. i create and share delicious vegan recipes if you are returning thank you thank you thank you i really appreciate you being here this week's vlog is a what i eat in a week but breakfast edition so we're gonna make some pretty easy but also very delicious plant-based vegan breakfast options that I think y'all are gonna enjoy them. These meals are gonna be easy and delicious and I'm so excited for you to give them a try. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. So this morning's breakfast is probably on the top five list of starter meals if you are trying to transition to a plant-based vegan diet because it's so easy. It requires very few vegetables. I like to use onions, maybe some green bell peppers, sweet potatoes, you know, really whatever you have in your fridge. If you can mix that together with some vegan egg, I use liquid just egg for mine. Whip that bad boy up, put some hot sauce on it. Y'all see it a little later, but this is so easy to make, but it's always so good. So right now I'm about to make a marinade for my mushrooms. I'm adding in about one teaspoon of oil. Now I'm gonna add about one teaspoon of agave, a little under three fourths teaspoon of, actually I'm gonna do like one teaspoon of liquid smoke. Pinch of salt. A couple pinches of black pepper. garlic powder. I have some smoked paprika. I'm gonna add a little bit of nutritional yeast as well. I do have this recipe written out. It's like the formal recipe right now. I'm kind of just winging it. And I'm adding in a little bit of liquid aminos. Okay, I'm gonna just mix all that up. And I'm cooking my mushrooms in this. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more water. I might add some more mushrooms too because they kind of shrank a little bit so I'm gonna add some more if you're planning to make this just add as much as I did in total up front I'm like I know that these taste really good so that's why I was like um let me just add more mushrooms because I want to eat every single one of these I'm about to try one actually Y'all, that's fire. This is about to be bomb on the sandwich. So I'm about to remove this from the pan, wipe it out, and then I'm gonna make me like a 
an egg patty kind of using the just egg that you guys have seen me cook with so many times. Season it with salt, some pepper. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder as well. Add a whole bunch, just a little bit. And then yesterday you saw me use that black salt. I'm gonna use a little bit of the black salt again just for that eggy flavor as well. So those are the only two things that I needed to cook and now we can start making the sandwich. All right, so toasted my bread. All right, so on one side of the bread, I'm gonna add some vegan cream cheese. That's what this is. And then on the other side, I'm gonna add this avocado. All right, I'm gonna add down my lettuce. I guess we're kind of going for like a little BLT type of sandwich, right? That's the, that's the vibe we're getting. I'm gonna add my tomato, my onion. All right, now I'm gonna add my vegan egg. All right, and then lastly, I'm gonna add in those mushrooms. Don't they just look so good? I'm just about to eat that. Oh my gosh, that's so good. And there's like a little sauce left in here. So I'm just gonna drizzle that one here. Y'all, doesn't this look so good? Especially these mushrooms. Oh my gosh, that looks so bomb. Wow. Now, how amazing does this sandwich look? All right, so let's take a bite. Y'all, I am so excited. Just look at how good this looks. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Amazing. All right, happy Wednesday. If you watched last week's video, you saw that I made caramelized Pan caramelized banana pancakes and I've been thinking about those bananas ever since so I wanted to whip them up this morning but put them on something else and I just thought of oatmeal that's the easiest thing that I can make this morning to get my day started on time so let's go now y'all know I'm an oatmeal girl absolutely love oatmeal so I probably eat it at least once a week and I've mentioned this before but I don't see how you can get tired of oatmeal if you switch up the topping so like I said this week I'm adding caramelized bananas to mine I'm also throwing in some raspberries here like y'all you can get creative with oatmeal it's not boring but I mean it's not like overly exciting either but it's it's consistent okay it's one of those consistent breakfast meals that you can always go to you know it's gonna be good and it'll satisfy you also having my oatmeal with these sausages. This is the Beyond Breakfast Sausage. If you watched last week's vlog, you saw that I had these like huge burrito wraps and I wanted to put them to use this week as well so I decided to use them for breakfast and make a breakfast quesadilla. I started off by using the Impossible Foods plant-based ground. I find it at Walmart. It's easily accessible for me so that's typically the one that I will grab and added in some different seasonings, spices, veggies. Now this quesadilla was off the chain. So in addition to adding in the vegan plant-based ground, I'm also adding in some onions as well as some kale. Listen, y'all know I'm gonna try to include kale in almost every meal <laughs> I have. Also adding in some cherry tomatoes, seasoning it up with some salt, pepper, as well as some more garlic powder because there's no such thing as too much garlic powder. Listen, those are the rules of life. I didn't make them up.
I topped my quesadilla with like a, it's kind of like a sweet and spicy hot sauce type of situation. And it was really good. I also served it up with some avocado, which you see here, and some vegan sour cream. Y'all, we made it to Friday. <laughs> praise them, praise them, praise them. So this morning, I really want something like savory, comforting, something warming, warming and good for the soul. Something still quick and easy because listen, your girl gotta get to work. So I'm gonna make some grits. We're gonna top it with some really good vegetables. So let's go. If you've been wondering how to cook Brussels sprouts, this is just one of the many ways. I am including Brussels sprouts on top of my grits. Now, I know you're probably like, girl, what? But listen, just, just hear me out, give it a try. It is so good. So to my Brussels sprouts, I'm adding some liquid aminos, some black pepper, as well as some smoked paprika some garlic powder, Cajun seasoning for a little kick, okay? And just give that a really good mix. I also add in some water because I want these to soft, soften a little bit more. So I added some water and then I'm gonna cover these with the lid and let them cook down a little bit. I added in some tomato. I add those in last because I don't want them to get super soggy and mushy. And so now I'm starting on my grits. I'm over here talking to my mom on FaceTime. I'm about to dig in and finish eating, but thank you so much for watching this week's video. I really appreciate you being here. Stay until the end if you're still here. <laughs> Y'all look at my mama. Why she got a fork? <laughs> you, want, you want a fork? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Wait, I'm about to turn you around. So you All right, mom, you want a bite? Yes. Say, ah, ah. I can't with you. Oh, this is really good. I don't see how you don't like grits. Oh my gosh. You need to try this. I wish you could, like, okay, okay. <laughs> well, can, you, can I use meal? No, you need to use grits. What you about to say you wish I cooked like this when I lived at home? Because <laughs> I sure didn't cook. You wanna tell them the story? You wanna tell them the story of me cooking? You wanna tell them the story of how I used to cook at home, how I used to throw down? I used to throw down? Yeah, you know I used to throw down. I, I can't even say you made french fries. <laughs> the time you tried to put some, some french fries in the grease that took off running, you made me make it. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, I can't believe it. I mean, I was just a taste tester. I know. You know I was but a taste tester. <laughs> 